Hello and welcome back to the water. my name is Beast and I'm an idiot because I should have drank something before the recording started. I'm not gonna stop the recording for this. You're gonna, you're gonna get a real close up of the drinking now. Not to sound like... Ah, I like that. Some sick ASMR or something, I don't know. Anyways, let's go talk to Sayaka Mizuno. Hi, I'm Sayaka Mizuno. I look forward to getting to know you. <coughs> By the way, my throat still really hurts. Got like the one of my addictions here, like a fucking wunderbar again. I don't know if I ate that during a video already, like the, it's like got enough peanut in it to make, uh, to, f I don't know, make, like, I don't know how much TNT or something. <laughs> it's really good though, it's really good. Like, W-U-N-D-E-R-B-A-R. -E That's how it's spelled. From, uh, um, Cat Cadbury. C-A-D-B-U-R-Y, apparently. Mm. Really good though. Ultimate pop sensation, so I can't mind now. The way she moves is completely mesmerizing. That doesn't send that quite face. So I can't mind now. And I saw her name on the thread online. Frankly, I was pretty surprised. She was a, she's in a pop group fa she's in a pop group famous all across the country. In fact, she's their lead singer. As the ultimate pop sensation, she's in high demand to appear on TV and magazines everywhere. But actually, that's not the only reason I was so surprised to find out she'd be going to the school. I'm sure she doesn't remember, but... Well, never mind. No matter how he slices, it, she's really beautiful. Almost like a doll or something. <laughs> not a doll, you know. I'm live! Huh? Did you hear me? I... I'm psychic. Your soul. Huh? <laughs> Kidding. I just have really good intuition. I bet she actually is psychic or something. She's a sharp one. Hey, um. Hey. Uh. Huh? Hey, by any chance? Now what? Huh? Yeah, it must be. I'm sure of it. Hey, Makoto did. Just hold on. Jeez, you guys. How long do you plan to, wa to waste our valuable time with this ridiculous, ridiculous back and forth? Uh, um. S sorry, just got carried away. I you guess. hear me? Sorry for interrupting us for introducing yourself, not bumbling through a bunch of idle chit chat. Um. You're right. You're right. Sorry. Sorry, Makoto. We can talk about this later. Sounds like Sayaka really had something she wanted to say. It's not like we'll never see each other again. Like I said, like she said, we can talk later. Okay, who should we talk to next? How about the dick? Nah. Let's talk to, uh, the, to the other girl first. Toko Fukawa. Not that you'll remember my name anyway, but... I mean, t -t Toko. Toko Fukawa. Ultimate Writing Prodigy, Toko Fukawa. Yeah, she wrote a novel when she was 10 that got everyone talking and launched her literary career. Now, then two years ago, she released So Linger the Ocean, a love story said to be her masterpiece. Book, the book was such a hit with women that fishermen quickly shot to the top of every hottest men pole. Whoops, didn't want that, didn't want that, but fuck! How do I stop that? Controls! How? Yes, um, reaction mode? Uh, 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 um, auto mode, yeah, okay, that, how can I stop auto mode? And, open transcript, okay, um, stop that, and open the, open the transcript, open the transcript! Why the fuck won't you open the 
motherfucking transcript, dickhead. I don't, I don't care about that. Trans. Fast forward, auto mode. Uh -huh, I don't care. What the fuck is the transcript? Like, how do I open the, the transcript? I, I, what the fuck? I didn't want to do that. Okay, I can do that apparently. Sorry, I just skipped a bunch of text. What else would you call such a young friend Arthur? But I figured she'd be a lovey dovey girl. What the ball or her nasty being a real match and all. <laughs> What's your problem? What? It's, it's not polite to stare, you know. Stop staring at me like I'm some filthy creature! This creature? No, I just thought. I know you just thought. I know what you just thought. You just thought you've never seen such an ugly woman before. Uh, you've never seen such an ugly woman. You just you just thought it was so funny. No, that's not what I was thinking at all. I'm telling you! Don't bother to lie to me! I know it's true, otherwise you... I know you can't stand looking at me! Anyway! Whatever. I don't really care, I'm used to it. Wow, talk about it in inferiority complex. She was way off about... Ex uh, off about a successful... I was way off about what a successful author would be like. I don't even get what the fuck's like her problem with like she's ugly. She looks decent. Like, I would date her. Would you? I would. Like, she looks nice. Kinda of fucking adorable. Kinda of fucking adorable. But, sadly, she is actually, but she is not best girl. She may, she gets, like, third best girl in this game. At least, in my opinion. Anyways, let's go talk to Lil Dickhead. I'm Kiyotaka Ishimaru. I believe in bold simplicity. Let's work together on our educational crusade. Okay. Kiyotaka Ishimaru, Ultimate Moral Compass. That's why um, I'm changing his voice. So that's Kiyotaka. According to what I saw about him on that thread, he went to a famous private school one top honors every year. Basically a flawless honor student. He's also known for the work he's done with his community's public morals committee. And they say he respects rules above above all else, earning him the title of ultimate moral compass. Anyway you can tell me cock you you can call me Kaka, huh? What the fuck? Anyways you can call me Taka! You said your name was Makoto Nagi, right? That's a good name! A strong name! Thank your parents for giving you such an excellent name! You hear me? <coughs> and to keep your that, uh, that name from losing its value, you must devote yourself every single day! Got it! Life is worth putting every ounce of effort into it! Right! Right! This guy is kind of annoying. Yeah, he's killing my throat too. You know what? Fuck the voices again! I know I always start with the voices and then proceed to regret it, but it's just fun to figure out what the fuck kind of voice I would do for each character. But now my throat hurts like hell. Mm. Next! Leon! Yo! The name's Leon Kuwata. What's up? Nice. I recognize that name. Play for the National High School champs as their cleanup hitter, ultimate baseball star. Superb athletic specimen is uh, you. Seriously? Huh? huh? Wrong. Nothing. Just surprised. I figured with you. I figured with you being the ultimate baseball star and all. Give me a break. What? Where you expecting some kind of uh, some kid with a shaved head? Shaved head. No, I was just expecting more of uh, you know sporty looking traditional baseball player. Meanwhile, I found that article pic and picture of you online. That's how you look then. <laughs> what? 
that? Oh man, they found the picture of me playing basketball. Seriously, I hate that picture. What the crap? It's not cool. It is so not cool. Seriously. Like, I'm like mega embarrassed right now. I didn't have a choice, okay? Shaving your head like uh, like that is part of nat national championship regulations. What? That's kind of bullshit. To be honest with you. I mean, seriously? But now I refuse to cut my hair, and I'm not gonna dye it back to normal either. I like this person so all of a sudden. I do. N I I fucking refuse to cut my hair as well. Hey, listen. I don't have a dye though. It's still my natural fabulous brown. Whoops. Actually, can I be totally honest with you? You know, I don't like baseball. Like, at all. I've never gone to a single practice. He's no practice. He was still his team stop there. Some kind of prodigy. Yeah! So, as soon as I got accepted here, I quit baseball for good. I have my own dream for the future. Dream for the future. <laughs> my only path in life is getting into music. You can feel that star quality aura I have, right? No. You know what I mean. I'm gonna be a singer, so all I need is a songwriter and someone on guitar, and we're set. How cool is that? This new version of me that's chasing after my dream is like super cool to me. Can't believe what I'm hearing. I never imagined I'd hear something like that from a baseball all-star. Okay, last one, last but not least, the fucking fatty. Oh my God, it's fucking Elf y Yamada. Uh. Comment down below, below if you get that reference. It's not actually prob it's probably not actually Alf Yamada. I don't think uh, Chenderbent Alf Yamada would look like that. I am Hifumi Yamada. But if you want to call me by my nickname, the Alpha and the Omega. I don't mind. <laughs> Ultimate fanfic creator, Hifumi Yamada. Mm hmm. By the way, how much do you know about the world of 2D art? World of 2D? <laughs> well, in fact, that world, I am well, in that world, I am well known and supremely well well regarded as the ultimate fanfic creator. I'm scared of fanfictions. Like seriously, <laughs> the fuck? Some of the fan fictions you can find are just what the fuck is even going on? Mm-hmm. I once sold 10,000 copies of one of my fan comics at a school festival. And the event was has passed into legend. Hmm. Some of them didn't get it, of course, saying I tainted the event. But how stupid how stupid can you be? Well if it's like a school festival and you suddenly sell or uh, start sending I know porn or something. Yeah, you'd be tainting the event. I may be a pervert. I may like myself some tits and stuff. I may like myself the P with the orn back uh, on the back sometimes. But I ain't for that. Like, keep it to yourself, man. That's too bad about them. But selling 10,000 copies like that is definitely pretty remarkable. However... The words of such idiotic idiots mean nothing to me. I'm like Van Gogh, ugly and unappreciated in my time. I don't want to hear fucking Van Gogh right now. I just recently watched the Rock of Age, uh, Rock of Ages videos, like Rock of Ages 2, and the f and the fucking intro to Van Gogh in that game is still fresh in my mind. It's fucking weird. <laughs> like stop. Just please don't start vomiting colors onto me, or taking your ear off to use uh, to locate me using fucking uh, echolocation or something. Just don't do that. I'm a soldier serving night and day to des uh, destroy all mindless preconceptions about fan fiction. I'm sure you were, if, if you were to observe my work, Mr. Maggie. You will comprehend its greatness immediately. Mm -hmm. For my work is filled with the deepest meaning. Well, what kind of meaning? Yes, indeed. It's about embracing our basest urges. Yes, it's porn! <laughs> Wait! Here we fucking have it! It's porn! It's goddamn porn! I fucking knew it! 
goddamn knew it. I called it. I don't think I want to comprehend. I comprehend what he's saying. <laughs> so <laughs> yeah. Okay, now to talk to those five people. Okay, let's start with the ladies and then end with the dude. <laughs> so it's nothing. It's nothing. Ignore it. Hmm. 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 Um. Can I ask you your name? Hmm. My name is Kyoko Kirigiri. That best girl, by the way. Ultimate question mark. It's fucking blue, baby. Oh hell no! I don't know why I'm so loud right now. I don't know at all. She's pretty tight-lipped, huh? Oh, but you know, the name didn't show up anywhere in that deep canyon thread. And I did see that there were students like me, ones who didn't have any real identity or presence. Could this girl be one of them? So, uh, um, so, what are you doing at the school? What? What's that supposed to mean? No, I just meant getting invited here means there's some kind of ultimate something, right? So what ultimate something are you? That doesn't matter. Why should I tell you? Huh? Well, I guess you don't have to tell me. <sighs> no, I don't have to tell you, so I'm not going to. Nothing about her turned up online, so I was thinking maybe she got picked by chance like me, but... Trace is like an iron mask. If she doesn't want to tell me anything, no point in asking. Okay then, let's talk to this one. Hi! I'm Junko Enishima. Charmed, I'm sure. Ultimate fashionista Junko Enishima. Anybody would rec recognize this one? She's got more charm and presence than any high school girl in the country. She's the ultimate fashionista. Check out all the latest dresses and fashions. 400 yen. Oh, red ribbon. Wait, what? Oh, hell no! It's the red ribbon on me! Oh, hell no! Hell no! Hell no! What the fuck? Why the fuck is the like fashion magazine of the for the Red Ribbon Army? That's that's confusing me. I've seen her on tons of magazine covers, but I feel like that doesn't quite match up to reality. What? Huh? Come on. Oh, yeah, talk about my cover photos and junk. <laughs> <laughs> well, of course, there's a totally Photoshop. Photoshop? Well, you know, added the to Helen back with like beauties and junk. Oh, so they aren't real. What can we do? Come on, the act's a surprise. You gotta make me feel, make me all the press. Totally! It's totally normal these days to Photoshop the crap out of cup fo fo photos. If you're surprised by that, you'd be totally blown away by a certain dangerous little diva of ours. <laughs> they make the eyes and junk super big and tweak the skin so it looks all ceramic and porcelain. Oh, well she looked like a doll, like up close and personal as well. So many dreams are getting crushed today. Yeah, okay. Let's talk to little cutie here. Hello, nice to meet you. I'm Chihiro Fujisaki. Chihiro Fujisaki, ultimate programmer. Mm. Sorry, I get kind of embarrassed whenever I introduce myself like this. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you can get along. Same here, nice to meet you. Huh? Huh? Maybe it's just my imagina imagination, but have we met before? Um, I don't think so. I just met you for the first time, which is why I said nice to meet you. Uh, I'm sorry. Oh, no, yeah, good point. Sorry. You don't have to apologize for that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Jiro Fujisaki is known for all the cutting-edge 
programs she created. She's the ultimate programmer. He's also got that timid little bunny top thing going, which has endeared her to uh, her legion of friend, uh, fans. Um... Hey, so, listen... Uh, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. What are you apologizing um, for? Well, just cause... You seem upset. You must be mad at me, right? No, not at all. I was just lost in thought about something. Huh? Huh? Lost in thought? Yeah, that nothing to do with me being upset or anything. Thank you. Oh, that's good. I was afraid maybe you didn't like me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad. I'm starting to understand why her fans are so into her. Like... Sally, I don't have like a button here or something. I'm just, I'm just gonna use the stapler. Um, PROTECT! 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 Anyways, let's, let's go to the... Black chick! Heya! I'm Aoi Asahina, but my friends just call me Hina. What's up? To, uh, to steal a joke from a, from a video I've watched recently, think like the word spelled T H I C See the light! If you know what video that was from, congrats! You watch uh, one of the YouTubers I watch as well. <laughs> Anyways. Ultimate Swimming Pro Aoi Asahina. Aoi Asahina. She's been breaking records in every competition she's been in since elementary school. She's even been chosen as an upcoming Olympic cadet. She's without a doubt the ultimate swimming pro. The combination of her abilities, appearance and um, proportions has been widely discussed online. Mm. So, uh, what was your name again? Sorry, totally forgot. Makoto Naegi. <laughs> oh, yeah, uh, oh yeah, I knew it was something like that. No, not something like that. It is that. You got it! Sure, sure, got it. Here, let me hammer it into my brain right now. Yeah! Kodo. Naegi. Kodo. Naegi. She just kept repeating my, na my name and moving her fingers across her palm like she was writing something. What are you doing? Huh? You don't know? If you want to remember someone's name, you gotta write it down in your hand three times. I've never heard of that before in my life. Hey, by the way, how do you spell your last name? I spell it exactly like it sounds. Mm. Um. <laughs> well, I have no idea. <laughs> I'll just figure it out later. And I'll figure it out later and write it down. Okay. Anyways, glad to meet ya. Sh sure, same here. Well, one thing I learned is she's totally easygoing and bursting with energy. Let's talk to the next one. Name's Mondo Awada. Nice to fucking meet ya. I like him already! Ultimate fucking bike gang leader! Mondo Awada! Can't believe it's not butter! Mondo Awada, huh? Which means... He's the current leader of the largest bike gang in Japan. By the way, remember what I just said after the Mondo Awada? Remember that for later. It's important. It's the current... I already read that. He's earned respect even all from every gang in the country. He's the ultimate bike gang leader. Um, nice to meet you too. Yo. Hell yeah. Better be careful around him. One wrong word, and I could wake up at the bottom of the sea. Those four over there are the only ones left. Oh, I do just... not think we have been introduced. I am Celestia Ludenberg. It's Ludenberg, but okay. Yes, that Luden, that uh, her family name is pronounced Ludenberg because it's. I think it's German. Anyways, Celestia Ludenberg, ultimate gambler. Celestia Luden, huh? <laughs> Ludenberg, it's my name. 
But if you don't mind, I would prefer for you to call me Celeste. Um, you are Japanese, right? Huh? Of course, what do you ask? If you don't mind, could you tell me your real name? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, Celeste Dudenberg is my, is my real name. But as I mentioned, I would much rather you call me Celeste. She's polite. But pretty forceful at the same time. I think she wants to say it. But I, I don't think she wants to say any more about it. This woman is in that thread we'll write about her. The safe start, Celestia Ludenberg. L Ludenberg for fiction. She's the ultimate gambler who never lost a bet. Other than her obvious love of gothic Ladiga clothes, everything about her is wrapped in a veil of lies. They say she ended and won an underground gambling tournament, earning the title of Queen of Liars. She totally cleaned out the other players, taking their life savings and laughing as she did. <laughs> look, I look forward to getting to know you better. That's my young deceptive. Deceptive. I better watch myself around her. Uh, anyways, I, I think that's where I'm gonna stop again. See you guys next time.